<coughs> Hello YouTube, this is a video on how to how to set up EIJRP on two routers. Two twenty eleven twenty eight eleven routers. Not, what's up? Three routers. The benefit of this is with RIP it will um it announces that the router is alive every 30 seconds with it. Now, that's not good if like you have um, if you have different like it'll slow down your network every time it announces that it's there. With ERGRP only EIGRP, sorry, it announces every twenty, every five minutes, and also with um, um, with RIP, it announces every time it goes up and every time it comes down. And if you're if you've got a dodgy cable. Um, then you're basically screwed because then you'll have to like it'll slow down your network every time it announces that it's up Let me do this and we'll get into the configuration. If I could do it right. Turn it on. Now, let me just connect them together. And then make a note of which one is which. Um, okay, I don't actually know how you can make a note of which one is which, so let's just get going on the configuration, right? DC cable. to that DC cable again from here to here and then we don't have to but if we wanted to we could do a cable from there to there we don't have to so I'm not going to so let's go into CLI and the first router Configure terminal. I want to add in host names. It's just something I do. And then go into your serial connection. All the serial connections. They're going to be in this case 192.168. And then the third router is going to have to be a dot two address. But we'll get to that when we get to that. And then we need to do fast Ethernet. Also, we need to do the clock rate. And then we, you know, shut that, change it down. And I want to do the same thing here. Conf T. Int S zero slash zero slash zero. Clock rate. 
Puff on Gleam. Oh yeah, okay, I got that wrong. In IP address 192.168.1.2.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
you can if you want make sure there's a connection by pinging m 72.16.1.1 and see I'm getting replies so there is a connection there Again, you can you can ping the default IP address to make sure that there is a connection. If you really want to, you don't have to, but it's just something I do just to make sure there is a connection. And just to make sure the IP address isn't conflicting with any of these. because I'm using a class B but I set it up as a class C address in the router we need to change the subnet mask to make it match now we can get going on the EIJRP routers so we want to take note of these we want to take note of the fast ethernet and the serial ones so now I want to exit booter EIGRP Alright, EIGRP1 Sorry Now I want to net all them together so in two dot. 16.1.0 and also want to net 192.168.1.0 and then also the dot two dot zero address. Right, that's that set up. And I want to do the same thing for this router. Check the IP address in it. Mm, 72.17.1.1. Okay, so you also need to net that. Mm, 72.17.1.0. Then yeah, detect the neighbor, you see. Once you do that. Now you also want to make sure you netted the right ones. Yes. Now I'm going to do the same thing here. You can double check if net the same one if you want, which I haven't. And then you can network. And now to confirm that you can do do show IP root. As you can see they're all connected together now. The D's here are representing EIGRP because that's what I'm using. 
and now you can see they're all connected. That one's just showing you it's directly connected. Now that one is showing you you can get to when I do it onto the dot one dot zero through dot two dot one. So now if we ping say this one seven two dot sixteen dot one dot two from to here, then you ping that, we now get reply. And if we do IP config on here, you'll be able to see it's a dot eighteen address. And then just to prove it works, we can ping point seventeen as well from here. And then we get a reply. You can also ping the router that it's on, and we can also get the router to ping as well. And as you can see, we get success rate. So that's how you enable EIGRP on routers using Cisco Packet Tracer.